right now back to that major damage inside out from what we're being told was caused by a tornado. Yeah, Mallory Smith is there and live with Mayor Greg Cromer. Mallory, um, what is the mayor saying about damage and damage to people? And I'm here now with Slidell Mayor Greg Cromer. We've been talking about some of the storm damage that you guys are seeing here. Obviously, down trees behind us. But you said a little bit further west, there is extensive damage. Can you talk about some of those problem areas, what you guys have been seeing today? Yeah, on, on down OST here, Old Spanish Trail, we've got uh, a couple of buildings, roofs gone, apartment complex, roofs gone, uh, church, roofs gone completely. Uh, one construction building, uh, it's roof's gone, inside's gutted, it's it's destroyed completely. Um, storm kind of came, uh, tornado looked like it touched down several times, kind of going west to east, uh, from south west to northeast in the city here. Uh, we got pockets of damage right right over here, uh, just, just north of us. There's a big wooded area, but if you drive by it, you can see places in there where the trees have just been uh, broken off, tops have broken off completely. Uh, destroyed. No power down in this area right now. Uh, part of it, uh, we've, we've cut it off for a bit uh, while we're assessing the grid to see what we have to do to get, get things back together. Um, lines down, we just got oh, this, this road here opened uh, about an hour ago. I had multiple trees on the road here. Uh, some power lines down. We were waiting on uh, cable folks to come and take uh, cut a, a major cable line down uh, that, that was blocking traffic. That, that, that's been cleared now. Um, we've got emergency op center set up over here by the Amazon building, uh, working out of the covered area back there. Um, no major injuries in the city limits. I heard there was one individual outside the city limits that uh, tree had fallen on the house and had a, a pretty significant uh, head injury. But mostly around here, just cuts and scratches. People uh, have been been very fortunate, uh, but, but sig significant damage uh, to properties. Uh, we've still got areas down behind us here and, and back north of us here uh, that we, we there are feeder roads that we've got crews now working. There's uh, five crews out between the city and the parish and uh, fire department. There's the fire, fire department's got about 70 men out working with chainsaws, uh, 14 to 18 chainsaws that are on the streets right now, uh, five front loaders that are moving debris uh, to, to get streets cleared to get us out, to, to, to get us operational. Um, Clico's in, uh, WST's in, uh, they're assessing their grid, what, what they've got to do to, to uh, stand up power and get people uh, power again uh, to get, make it safe before we can do that though, before we can heat up the grid. We saw the city out here working. What are you advising of residents right now? If you don't need to be on Old Spanish Trail or you know, some, some reason to, to be over here specifically, don't come into this area. It, it's, there's, no, there's no need to do any sightseeing. You, got, you guys are doing a great job reporting. The, the pictures are on the TV. Uh, look at the TV and stay out of this area. We've got men that are working uh, to assess damage, to clear streets, to, to get power up and running. We don't need people just coming out and taking pictures and riding around looking. Uh, there's a, you can see a lot of traffic right here right now. Um, it, you know, we had traffic completely blocked here at one point, but um, there's not, there's no commerce over here right now. There's no power, so you can't get gas, you can't uh, buy, buy anything at restaurants right now. Uh, hopefully we'll get that turned up, tuned up by this afternoon so these restaurants and, and uh, gas stations, things can get back in operation and, and, uh, and stop start commerce again, uh, keep them up and running, keep them whole as much as possible. But uh, unless you really have some specific business or you've got family that you need to get to, stay out of this area. Thank you so much for speaking with us. And I do want to say he's absolutely right. Does seem like traffic has cleared up just a little bit, but stay off the roads if you can. We're going to stay on top of this severe weather coverage all day. All right. All right. Thanks so much, Mallory.